Yo, what's good, everybody? It's Mr. Holland Park 313. Uh, it's a lot going on in the sports world. Um, today is the open day for the NBA season. Uh, well, really, for me, it's tomorrow. Okay, that's when the Pistons are open their season against the Toronto Raptors. And um, if I'm not mistaken, it's on the road. So uh, that should be a big test, seeing how uh, Toronto Raptor, the Raptors were Eastern Conference final, finalists last year. And um, I think they brought a lot of their core players back. So that would be a great test for us, a good measuring stick to see where we are early in the, in, you know, in, in the season. Uh, it's not too telling, seeing how it's the first game of the season, but I would still like to see um, how we come out with the absence of our Reggie Jackson, who's going to be out for a few weeks, a few more weeks. Uh, I think mid-December, if I had to guess, I'm not really sure exactly when, but hopefully he comes back uh, better than ever and hopefully we'll be able to uh, – keep things under control during his absence with uh, the rest of the point guards uh, that's in this place. Um, I think Stan Van Gundy signed a, another player. I forget his name. That I think he's a point guard as well. So I think he's doing necessary things to kind of keep the team afloat until Reggie gets back. And uh, once he gets back and kind of get in the rhythm of things, kind of get his legs back under him, it would be uh, really good to see everybody together again. And to see if we can make a big run this, uh, this season. So, I'm super excited, man, that the basketball season is back. Um, as I mentioned before in my other video, uh, if you guys seen it, that I'm super excited with Stan Van Gundy has done this offseason. Um, addressing needs, getting players to actually fix his system and not just, you know, overpaying somebody just because of their name. Um, some high price bum that's injury prone or whatnot. You know, signing ridiculous contracts that makes no sense whatsoever. So I think that's a, it's just phenomenal, and basically what he's done this off season has really flown under the radar. So you know that's good. Let all the other teams like Golden State and teams like that get all the attention, and we just do what we do, um, you know, under the radar. And I couldn't be happier with that. So I'm super excited for that um, tonight. I'm ready to check out the Red Wings games. Red Wings game we get the Carolina. Hurricanes, uh, Wings are coming off a four-game winning streak. Uh, they've been playing very well as of late. Uh, big win in San Jose uh, against the Sharks. Uh, normally the Wings struggle out west. They get those Western, you know, Western Conference, those teams out in California. Uh, but uh, not only did they win, they got a shutout. So obviously, the goaltender was key, defense was key, and offense was key. Coming up a three nothing win in San Jose, and then coming at home, right the momentum against Carolina. So it should be a pretty good game. Looking forward to that. I'm gonna be checking that out tonight. So best of luck to the Wings, uh, not only tonight but the rest of the season. Um, before I get to anything else, I kind of want to touch on something I've been hearing. I don't know if anybody knows you know how much truth this is, but you know, as we all know, the Teddy Bridgewater from the Minnesota Vikings has um, he went out with an ACL injury. Um, before the season started this year. And from what I've been hearing lately is there's a possibility that he may never be able to play football again. That's just how severe severe the injury is. And, you know, I just really hope that's not the case. I mean, granted, I'm a diehard Lions fan, and he plays for one of our division rivals. But at the same time, um, you don't want you don't wish that on nobody. Um, I think he's a great player. Um, he has a tremendous upside. Uh, I, I think he was on his way to a brilliant career. I mean, just past his, after his rookie season, he started pro progressing right away. So that's going to show you just how great and how just much potential that he has. And, you know, as a football fan, you know, I'm not just a Lions fan. I'm a, I'm a fan of the game, period. I like to see, you know, great, you know, great football, great players, especially black quarterbacks, black head coaches. I'm all in support of that. So I really hope he pulls through even as a Lions fan, and I just enjoy us going against them and competing against the Vikings. So, um, best of luck to uh, Bridgewater. My prayers are with you. Um, you probably won't see this video, but, uh, you know, everybody know what I'm trying to say, man. I just really hope he pulls through because that's, you know, that's terrible news, if that is true, about the potential, him potentially not playing again. Um, and one other thing I want to kind of touch on is um, the Lions, of course. Ride the three-game winning streak. 
Um, I think that a four game winning streak is very possible going against Houston, even this on the, even though it's on the road. Um, Oswald has not been playing well at all for Houston. Um, our defense definitely need to step up. I see that we dropped, we shipped off Kyle Van Noy, which I am not sorry to see him go personally. Um, I thought he underachieved. He never really lived up to his draft, his part, his end of the draft pick. Um, and I think if what I hear, we signed Josh Barnes, who I think is a better player anyway. So uh, I just hope that we kind of get healthy. If we, it'll be a big win in Houston, doesn't matter who's quarterbacking, and if we can somehow get a win against Minnesota on the road. That's going to be a tough task, but I do think it's very possible. And if we go into the offseason, not offseason, I'm sorry, but we go into the bye week, with a, which will be a what? Uh, what? Five-game winning streak. That will be huge. So we're going in with momentum. And not only that, we're getting healthy because we have the extra week for players to rest up and get treatment and get healthy. So that's always important. That's huge. So if we can go with the bye week, um, off of this nice little five game winning streak, off a nice five game winning streak. Not saying it's, it's guaranteed to happen, but it'd be nice if it did happen. That'd be tremendous. And I think uh, our first game after the bye week is against Jacksonville at home. So, you know, it's just these next two games are huge in terms of momentum, in terms of standings. And I think that players, uh, people around the uh, NFL and the media are really starting to take notice. You know, and that's what was one thing. Speaking of the Lions, that I've never really liked the free press. You know, and the rest in peace, Drew Sharp. But it wasn't just Drew Sharp. I thought that the free press as a paper as a whole is always negative, always negative on the Lions. It wasn't just Drew Sharp. As a matter of fact, with the win that Lions came off of against the Redskins, uh, the headline read Lions pull off. A miracle win against the Redskins. I'm like, why the hell it got to be a fucking miracle? Why is that a miracle? Because we won against the Redskins. That doesn't make any sense. So even in victory, they find some way to kind of, you know, show some, throw some jab in there, or you know, some kind of snide remark, you know, against the Lions for whatever reason. I mean, it's just such a negative paper, and I don't really bother watching honestly. I mean, looking, reading, I, I just kind of click on the free press, see what else is going on in the city. Um, or around Michigan, and I just, you know, tend to see the uh, headlines about, you know, the sports teams, which usually are pretty negative. Anyway, with that aside, hopefully the Lions can get that win streak going, man, keep it going. And I want my boys to do right to them, you know, to really do well this season and hopefully make the playoffs. One game at a time, though, so I'm not going to sit here and make any kind of predictions. I'm just really hoping that we do well, period. That's pretty much all I got to say on that. Uh, so, looking forward to the Pistons. Gary to watch his Wings game tonight. Um, I'll be flipping back and forth between the World Series and um, the Cleveland game as well. And just pretty much take in a lot of sports. But, um, you know, for me, I'm I'm everything Detroit, man. From the, yes, Red Wings. Yes, you know, everything else. I watch hockey. I'm a sports fan. I mean, I'm not really big on golf. But especially Detroit, anything Detroit related, I'm down. That's just the way it is, man. I've always been a, a long time Wings fan, Lions fan, Pistons fan, Lions, all that mess. So, anyway, shout out to my Detroit versus everybody crew. Y'all already know who y'all are. And um, I get out y'all later. Take care.